see what I'm at. I'm probably in the 40s. 41.5, so let's go down. I'm doing 19. Oh, this is when I wished I grabbed my rubber boots. Did it hold the water out? Uh, not, well, yeah, right to here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that, that seal around there is fantastic. You said you were going to test it, so you did. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Look at all these options. Let me see here. The compass, check that out.
A little water test. That looks good. Okay, let me get some. So, got weather, stopwatch, compass, we already did the compass. Wow, you can control your camera from that, I think. Flashlight, that's cool. So it shows how many steps, I've had 3,994, but I've been in the truck most of the day. Parametric pressure, that was this one. Cool. Heart rate's 95. Holy crap. <laughs> Stopwatch timer. Did you see that? Stopwatch and timer. So you get a one minute timer, two minute timer, five minute timer. So if you're doing teas or coffees. Right. So that's pretty cool. It's gonna have me some, this is my favorite coffee. Check this at beans out. So we're gonna put it in grinder and we're gonna go coarse. Because I like French press. Oh, lovely. Hold on, we got to do some goodness. I get excited over coffee. We'll wait. So we're going to go into timer. We're going to do, let's do a longer soak. Let's do five minutes. Normally I do three. There we go. I got to go chop some wood. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's ready. I always burn my lips. This is awesome coffee. I like how smooth it is. It's nice and dark, and plus I put an extra scoop in. But uh, I like grinding my own beans because I like the texture myself. But you can get any grind you want or get beans. In the description below, you'll see a little link that says more. If you click on that, you can go and get yourself some of this delicious stuff on Off Hours Coffee. And if you use the code CGLOBE10, they'll give you 10% off. Um, you got to try it out. It, if you're a true overlander, help support veterans overland. That's done.
she's setting up the tent. Getting her all set up in there? What are you putting up right now? I'm putting up the light bar and then I'm gonna put up, um, I'm gonna do the sleeping bags and I'm gonna put up the trace light. This is just a camping trip for us. We're overlanding, got a nice spot. We're in Oregon. Boy, the sun's going down quick. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I gotta do it. Oh, I just fell in. Oh, I fell off the log. <gasps> Found another log, boys and girls. I like, whoa, this is a fishing hole. This is like six feet deep. That's a, you know what? Long as, I don't know how stable this log is. My luck is I'll break. Whoa, bingo. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, don't jump on it, Austin. No way. Bobby, I found your glass. Oh, it's in like four feet of water. Oh, those are nice glasses. Okay, I gotta go get glasses. This is for you, Bobby. Uh, maybe. Uh. These are totally Bobby glasses. Oh, that stump isn't on there. Uh, come on. Oh, oh, I'm going in. Oh, boys and girls, that stump just gave way. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Got him! Yeah. Oh, these are freaking not sunglasses. These are goggles. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm going in. Nope. Coming back out. Oh, they're toasted, but at least I picked up garbage. And boys and girls, I'm not going back across there. Five thirty-six. Oh, that's cool looking. No wash his glasses. Yeah. Oh man, I got bugs in my hair from that river. Wow. <laughs> Is that a little better? I like it. Got one more sleeping bag for you. Check these goggles out. <laughs> You're a nut. What's the refrigerator doing? Got. Boy, spring is here, the snow is melting, the green grass is coming up through the pine needles. Look at that big old ponderosa. That's a big ponderosa, boys and girls. I'm talking big. Look at that thing. Oh, I can get in the water here. It's shallow. Oh, there's a D spot. I just walked into branches, I guess, uh, awesomeness. You're with me. Hurrah! Okay. Look at this place. I like water. 
that's deep see the hue difference right there i could probably go about right to here but if i go any there i'm in trouble this right here is like four feet six feet eight feet then back up oh we got to go through here Ooh, we don't want to step here. This is a good bed for fish. So, I'll hang on to a branch. How far can I go out? You can see the matting there. That's from all the snow. See how the, it's all matted down? A lot of times you'll see where the mice under the snow make tracks. Garbage! Gotta get the garbage! Uh, duct tape, of course. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, this is dangerous. See that? There could be hollow here, so I'm gonna miss this area. When we have snowpack here, yeah. now we're going to come along and you see these tracks here? These tracks? Yeah. That's mice underneath the snow. Yep. And then what they do is they're eating roots underneath the snow in the winter. Look at all, there's a busy area. Looks like they're home. Are we going to get lucky and see one come out of the hole? Do I put my finger in there? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, another hole. Five fifty-four. You know what? I wonder how I've done seven thousand five hundred ninety-five steps. That's cool. Check this watch out. It's the M3 Ultra tank, and uh, this box is freaking awesome. Check this out. This this box is serious. It's got chargers in there. It's got everything in there. It, anyways, my Fitbit messed up, and so. I'm using this now, and I need something super rugged because, well, it's very obvious. You see what I do. Um, yeah, let's see how this works out. So far, I like it. That's about all I need. So this is dry wood. We picked it up on the way because I didn't want to spend time using the chainsaw today. If I needed to, I could get some wood, but for what we need, this is enough. This is three packs. So like when you go out in the woods, I use three bundles basically a night. If you have to buy wood, it's three bundles and I cheated because I don't like putting my fingers in there. I'm old school, but when new school is available, new school. That should take off. Got the fire going. It should be dark in about an hour and I'll have it blazing by the time it's dark. That way it lights the area up and then I'll turn on my lights in my overland vehicle. And uh, yeah, dude, this anchor. I am so impressed with that anchor. I would say, well, I'm stuck on anchor products because they're dependable. So I got this new one. I'm just beyond pleased. I'll leave that charged so I can use it tonight. Put it in here. This goes here. And then notice this is charging. And then of course this, they'll both charge at the same time. And this stores away in there nicely. This light here has got three settings. One, Two, three. And I got a shovel. The reason the shovel's here is to put the fire out in case it gets out of control. Plus I got three fire extinguishers in the Toyota 4Runner. But we're prepared for that. Normally, I would take a rake and you really should, this is my wild firefighting days, you really should have like a six foot ring of just solid dirt rakes back so an ember can't come off and start the pine needles. So firefighting days, I like the small shovels. So we're just gonna clear. And then I'll come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. We're gonna put the solar away so it's dark and I'll finish this ring.
Don't you guys love these rubber cups? I love them. You can't break them. I'm dying of thirst. So I've got 8,859 steps. Whoops, I gotta turn this off. Let's go enjoy the fire, guys. I was thirsty. So I, 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 I kinda got the fire going. That should keep me warm tonight. I found this in the outskirts and in this type of dry climate it's really good to get as much tender out of the forest as you can and burn it so the next person doesn't catch the forest on fire. And then I've got everything spread apart. Almost done. Super good. Ow. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> A little toasty. A little hot. I ain't doing it bare hands because I've already burnt my hands. Woo! This stuff is almost on the words of hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. It was really hot yesterday. We were wearing short sleeve shirts most of the day. And so we decided not to worry about bringing the um, diesel heater that we had talked about bringing. And plus we brought zero de degree sleeping bags. Well, it's morning. I don't feel like I slept a wink. I think Austin says I did, but I'm cold. So he got up, gave me his double sleeping bag. I've got three layers on and he just ran down to start the truck so that I'll get out of bed because it's 7.50 in the morning. Oh my stars. But anyways, let's see if I can get these lights on. It's nice and light in here now. Finally crawling out. Oh, he found a way to clean my seat off. We had tons of stuff in here. It's warm. It was like 24 degrees outside. It's actually warmed up to about 27 right now. But so, inside the truck, it's like 85. Oh, that's lovely. And I got your heat. Thank you. Seat heater thing going on. Oh, we had seat heaters on. It was cold. This truck is warm. Have you been it? Thank you, honey. Appreciate it. That was hard. I can't believe you just got out of bed. He got out of bed and put his sleeping bag on top of me so I'd get warm enough to get up and then he heated up the forerunner. Normally I wouldn't do this. I would have just built <laughs> the campfire, ran out of wood. We ran out of wood, as you can see. There's no piles left out there. We used it all up last night. It wasn't that cold we last night We had a either. nice fire last night. I'm gonna go heat it up. Okay. Open the door. Okay, gotta heat it up. Yeah, it got cold last night. Very cold. Look at the stuff is froze. <laughs> it froze to the ground. <laughs> yep. It's good. So there's ice crystals on the top of the tent here. I come in here and open these so that it can start drying out because it is wet in here. 
But I do like we put up these stringer lights. And this light is really nice. But these just kind of help make a different lighting when you don't want the main bar up. This tent's pretty cozy. I like it. Slept in a lot of tents. This tent is awesome. The mattress is really good too. The thing is super thick. For, you know, a rooftop tent. See, look at that. That's pretty thick. Which makes it nice. Because when we're watching other people, they're putting their extra padding down on top of their rooftop tent liner and we never have to. <laughs> it's pretty good. Thank you, 230. Yeah. Okay. Take this. Simple life.